Raptor is a visual programming environment based on flowcharts. This video will develop a simple program to calculate the area of a circle and examine some of the basic features of Raptor. The Raptor window is divided into four main areas. The toolbar, the symbol palette, the watch window, and the workspace. The title bar shows this Raptor file has been saved with the file name area.rap. All Raptor file names end with the RAP extension. A typical computer program has three basic tasks, input, processing, and output. This program will start with an input symbol to enter the radius. Symbols can be added to the flowchart in several ways. The first method is to drag a symbol from the symbol palette into the workspace. Now right click on the input symbol and select edit. Each Raptor symbol is edited with a dialog box similar to this one. These dialogs can also be opened by double clicking on the symbol. The first item in an input symbol is the prompt. This is what the user will see when the program executes. An input symbol also needs a variable to store the value entered. A variable is a named location in memory that can store values. Notice as you type, Raptor shows autocomplete options. The text in a prompt must be enclosed in quotation marks. Press the tab key to move the cursor and type the variable name. This program only has one input, so an assignment symbol can now be used to calculate the area. Symbols can also be added to the flowchart by clicking on a symbol in the symbol palette and then clicking in the workspace. This is useful when you need more than one of the same symbol. To demonstrate, I'll add three assignment symbols and then click undo to remove the two extras. This time I'll double click on the assignment symbol to edit. First, enter a variable name to hold the result of the calculation. Then press the tab key to move the cursor and type the formula. Notice Raptor has a predefined value for pi. When you have typed at least two letters, pressing the Enter key will insert the selected item from the autocomplete list. After the calculation is complete, the output symbol is used to display the results. The final method of adding symbols is to right-click in the workspace and select the desired symbol from the pop-up menu. The output dialog only has one item to be filled, the expression to be displayed. Text to be displayed exactly as typed must be enclosed in quotation marks. To display the value currently stored in a variable, it is not enclosed in quotation marks. The plus sign here does not mean addition. It means to paste together the text and quotes and the value currently stored in the variable. The program is now complete and ready to be executed. The play and step buttons both execute the program. The play button will execute the entire program start to end, while the step button will execute the program one symbol at a time, pausing after each symbol so you can view intermediate results in the watch window. Clicking the step button once will start execution and highlight the start symbol. Clicking again highlights the input symbol. Notice the input symbol has not yet been executed. The highlighting indicates the symbol to be executed on the next click of the step button. Clicking step now causes the input symbol to execute which opens the input dialog. Typing 10 and pressing enter sets the radius variable to the value 10. Notice the variable and associated value are now displayed in the watch window. Clicking the step button now causes the assignment symbol to execute and the value placed in the area variable is visible in the watch window. Another click on the step button executes the output symbol and one final click with the end symbol highlighted terminates the program and shows the results in the master console window. The play button will execute the entire program without repeated clicking. The play speed slider controls how fast the program executes.
The last thing to do in this program is add a comment. Comments are added by right-clicking on any symbol. Comments are ignored by the computer when a program executes, but contain valuable information about the program. All Raptor programs should have a comment on the start symbol with the author, date, and description as shown. As programs become more complex, comments should be added to other symbols to clarify the program. This video will conclude with a brief look at Raptor's Help menu. Selecting About will show information about this specific version of Raptor, including the version number and publish date, and in case you've been wondering what exactly Raptor stands for. The Show Log option displays a log of all activity performed on this file, including who created it, when it was created, who modified it, and when it was modified. It will even show when symbols have been cut and pasted from other Raptor programs. Finally, the General Help. The Raptor Help system is designed for beginning programmers and should be a first point of reference when working on a Raptor program. This is the end of this video. Now is a good time to start Raptor, look through the actual help pages, and then write the program demonstrated in this video.